Okay, so it's not over here. It's not in this room, okay. What kind of food you making, Rose? Oh my god, please, just let me. Let me find this thing so I can go on with my life. I'm slightly hoping the game crashed at this point. Your version of Zupa Toscana from Olive Garden? Nice. I don't know what that is, because I haven't been to Olive Garden in a little while. No, I never... I didn't attack him. find my phone so I can plug it into the charger. Oh my god. What is Zupa Toscana? Potato soup? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, uh... I'm gonna look this up super quickly because I don't know. B5. We have to get to B5. I haven't had enough. I haven't eaten at Olive Garden enough to say I like it or not. I'm just not a big fan of what I've had there, but I've not eaten there enough to say yes or no to it. Well. Wow. Shit. Uh oh. This. What's the best thing at Olive Garden, would you say, Rose? What's your favorite thing at Olive Garden? Because I don't eat I don't eat out enough at places like that. I would consider that place expensive even for my taste. Maybe I'm just a cheapskate, I don't know. Okay, bun bunch of enemies. There it is. Something tells me we found our special ore. <gasps> you have got, uh, honey. I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's ore at Calcum. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? I haven't been there in almost five, ten years. Ore Calcum. Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is it. The rarest metal in the Just world. Just comes right out and says it. I so this is the ore we were looking for. I should have guessed. Imagine what a fortune you could make with a lump this big. Well, we need it for something else, man. Uh, sorry. Got a little carried away there. 
don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. Could sell a little bit of it. It's a massive lump. You can make more than one sword out of that. We're one step closer to making that sword, but we've still got a way to go. Let's hit the road. Okay, we're gonna come back here so I can lay back a little bit. Put my feet up because it's been an hour and 30 minutes. Why am I walking? I just go like here. Gotta get the hammer. Hi, Joe. How you doing? So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. Uh. And they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Edwin's lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Edwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. Now, it was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. I mean, it might not necessarily be true. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows rise caused Edwin's lantern to descend, Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. <sighs> it was one of your mother's favorite stories. But now I'm not so... Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. He really did just the share it again. Of course, to crash straight into this. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all that. He really just repeated his story. Okay. Talk about a man of his word. I'll repeat the story. Really? I bet he won't, and then he does. Oh, man of his word. Not a lot of light in this place. Wait a minute, you were complaining about it before that he had no reckless heroics, and now you're complaining it's going to get him killed. What is wrong with you? Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time... Hmm? Ah, it is you. Thank you once again. What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be. 
It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the dark... Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We... Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Yeah, classic. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written. He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned Great, we gotta go to back the to the celestial sand. In order to... I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these runes ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if... Ah. Hmm. You have my Let's thanks. go run. I will inst... Time to go for a run. Good times. Game can't even keep up with us. Gotta get to the celestial seas. Good, 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 go, 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 go. Can you imagine playing this not sped up? Not going this fast? No, 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 no. you are kind to do this. We must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, your highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial hey, blue. sands? Well, no, but... Oh, Principoo. Hello, darling. Long time no see. Sylvando. Uh, what an uh, unexpected pleasure. Oh, God, get it. Turn that off. Oh, I had max MP on. The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy. Opening up Coca Cola. So if you're hearing it, that's what it was. I already drank all my tea for the day. Should we get another tea? I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, your highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. New dude, coming into the old places. Sir Hendrik? The Sir... You know who I am? But of course! You are my hero! You are... I am honored, your highness. The courage you have shown in... Don't give him that, Hendrik. Truly, you have no idea how much... Sorry to butt in, your highness, but might I ask how your investigation... Indeed I was, old man. That I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which lead... Well, I think I might be able to... You are some manner of wizened ancient? 
Excellent. I would be very much obliged. Oh yeah, we didn't have them when we first came here. The ruins can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sand. <laughs> oh, he just dished that old dude while he was stand the the scholar while he was standing there. The scholar was just standing there. He's like, "This man was a fool and would not come with me." What? Something you want to tell us, dude? Just laying down on the job, okay? Taking a nap, Principal. And there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. Truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? here all on their own in the middle of the desert huh oh they have been here forever since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers or some such nonsense such so nonchalant caring never change sea blue they were built for something very important i just know it Ooh, maybe some kind of stage. What a place to perform. Can you imagine? You weren't wrong about the runes, your highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? It's still very early. It's only 8.24. This is, uh, spoiler, this is the main villain of the game. Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself, and we all know what that means. Then get them out of there. Lord Robert, it is not safe here. We must fall back. No, oh, give me a minute, will you? I think I can make out what the runes are saying. Lord 
from it. It is too dangerous. Sword of Shadows. The lantern. It has disappeared. The star was named for Erdwin, but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes? Was the foul creature wielding the sword not. Uh, that was no foul creature, Sir Hendrik. That was the savior of Galopolis. He spared us all from the falling star. Not big boom yet. We're still in Act 2. There's a third act. Hmm. The kingdom is saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. I must return to the city and spread the news. Come and find me at the palace if you need me. <laughs> yes! Kalasmus. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> What could that mean? Hmm, why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom, maybe he knows something. Aye. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we go speak to it? Why not? Why not? Okay, so now we gotta go... Okay, so let's... Magic, magic, magic our way... Back to the city... Got a magic, magic, magic our way there. There's a quest giver inside this building. No, no, we've already given that quest giver. Never mind. 